would you like to learn how to make a honey baked ham? Just like this? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a honey baked ham with a yummy mango glaze inspired by the celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. Girl, my recipe for honey baked ham is life changing. Let me show you something. Hey, 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 it's Lisa D, founder of Lisa D's Delights. And on this channel, we help beginner cooks learn how to prepare quick and simple recipes made with love. Most of our recipes are Southern cuisine with a healthy flair. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So you're going to need a ham. I have an eight pound fully cooked spiral ham and it actually comes with its own little seasoning packet. But in my house, that's a no-no. We consider that trash. I'm going to show you how to make a way better, super yummy glaze for your ham. Start by preheating your oven to 325, then tightly cover the ham with aluminum foil. Like I said, the ham is already cooked, so the only thing that we have to do is bring it up to a recommended temperature and make it taste super yummy. The safe recommended temperature is 135 degrees, but because all ovens are different and because spiral hams are easy to dry out and overcook because they're sliced already, I recommend using a, full, um, a meat thermometer so that you can be sure that you don't overcook your ham because a dry spiral ham is not delightful. But what is delightful are these two ingredients right here that I use in my honey baked ham. So this honey ham recipe is one that I personally created, but what inspired me to create it is the ingredients that I saw Gordon Ramsay use in his ham recipe. My recipe is totally different from his, but the type of brown sugar that I saw him use, it looked interesting to me. So I researched it and then I purchased it and I tried it in my ham. And ever since then, this is the only brown sugar that I use when I make my hams. It's actually a quality brown sugar made from 100% natural cane juice. Unlike regular brown sugar, which adds artificial color to make it brown, Demerara sugar and child, don't get me to line. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. I think it's pronounced Demerara sugar. It's a less processed sugar than um, other sugar. So it retains a little bit more of the vitamins than, you know, other sugars. And it actually looks like little gold crystals. So I really like it. It makes the, like if you can't find it or, cause I got it from Amazon. Um, if you can't find it, it's perfectly fine to use regular brown sugar. I just found that. I like the flavor, Just it just heightens the dish to me and makes it taste a little better. But regular brown sugar will work fine too, girl. It's the fanciness for me. That container is almost two pounds and it was $11 on Amazon. Another thing that Gordon Ramsay used in his ham glaze was Madeira wine. That's like a fortified wine. And that was a little bit too fancy for me, child. And you know I had to add a little soul to the recipe. So my favorite wine for making sauces is Marsala wine. It's also a fortified wine and it gives your food like a nutty, rich, caramelized flavor. So I chose to use Marsala wine instead of the Madeira that Gordon used. But big up to Chef Ramsay. That's actually my favorite chef. Like I love me some Gordon Ramsay. Not only does his food look delicious, but he just intrigues me because, well, fun fact, um, he grew up in poverty and now of course he's a millionaire chef his dad was actually a chronic abusive alcoholic and used to beat his mother i read that one time the father actually threw hot boiling water on his mother while his mother was asleep and sometimes he would beat her so bad that she would have to be put in the hospital and gordon and his siblings would have to go into children homes while the mother was in the hospital so it was just crazy. And for him to have gone through all of that and to still come out and be successful, it's just fascinating to me. Anywho, back to the recipe. The other thing that I love to use in my ham glaze is this mango ginger chutney. And this is from Lisa D, not Gordon Ramsay. 
um i love to use this mango ginger chutney chutneys are like uh indian salsa slash preserves and this one i get from trader joe's it is so yummy on baked ham you have to try this recipe the um chutney has mango and ginger and other aromatic spices and has a little bit of heat to it so it's slightly spicy slightly mango-ish sweet girl you gotta try it hopefully you can find it at trader joe's amazon has it as well you can also put this chutney on fish and pork and chicken it just makes everything taste yummy Hmm, I wonder if I wrap this ham tight enough. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's put the ham in the oven now. You want to bake your ham for about 10 minutes per pound. So I have an eight pound ham and it took me about an hour and 15 minutes or so to bake mine. So it depends on the size of your ham. So we'll let it heat up a bit first and then we'll baste it when it reaches about 110. In the meantime, let's start making our amazing mango glaze. Melt three tablespoons of butter over medium low heat. Then add in one cup of demerara sugar. Mix that up nice and well. And next we're gonna go in with one cup of mango ginger chutney. And if you can't find this chutney, then you can replace it with like an apricot preserves or something like that. While you're making this glaze, you just wanna make sure that you're constantly mixing. Mix, mix, mix. This mango chutney is so delicious. I hope you guys can find it. Once you try it, you're gonna be hooked. Now add in a quarter cup of Marsala wine. Now go in with a quarter cup of honey. One heaping tablespoon of honey mustard. You can use Dijon or whatever kind of mustard that you like. I like honey mustard. Now a half a teaspoon of orange zest. Orange zest really brightens up this dish so nicely. It just makes it come alive with that little citrus zing in the background. It's yummy, it's delightful, do it. Add in two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. If you can't find pumpkin pie spice, then you can use a little cinnamon and a little allspice. I also added in a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, but just be careful with the ground cloves because if you put too much, it can overpower the whole dish. So stir that up, let it come to a mild boil and it will start to thicken and it should look yummy like this. After about an hour and 15 minutes, the ham is almost done. She's ready to be basted right now. But let me just show you what she looks like real quick. She's so pretty. But wait till she gets glazed. Then she's really going to be purdy. I just want to take her temp real quick. Make sure she's ready to be glazed. She's at 110. Yes, and she's ready for the goody goody. Here comes the basting. You just want to make sure you go in between. Try to get each layer and put some glaze under each layer. Try to get um, every nook and cranny with our yummy mango ginger glaze. Go all over, try not to miss a spot. Oh my gosh, she smells so good. It's a dirty, tedious job, but somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> nah, um, it's gonna be so worth it. So I glazed and baked her up real good, and then I put her back in the oven for 10 minutes, and then pulled her back out and I'm rebasting her one more time, actually two more times, because after this basting, she went back in the oven again for another 10 minutes. Then I took her out again and I rebasted her one more time, basted her a total of three times. And then after that, she was done. Yes, God, check girlfriend out. Isn't she gorgeous? You know, we got to hit her up one more time with the goodness. Anyway, here's a pro tip. You always wanna let your meat rest after you cook it because if you cut into it right away, all the juices will just come out of the meat. So you wanna let it rest so the juices can redistribute themselves. So we're gonna cover this back up with a tent of aluminum foil and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes. But before we do that, let's baste her bottom up real good too. Bottoms need love too. Oh my God, you a mess. When she's done resting, she's going to look 
like this. Yes, my God forever. Thank you, Father God, for a beautiful up and coming 2021. I know it's going to be a great year for all of us. Despite everything we've been through, 2021 is going to be awesome. Mark my words. You better believe it and claim it, girl. Now just look. Look at the inside of this ham. Yummy. So juicy. Girl, you better make your ham like this. I'm trying to tell you. Look, 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 look. She's showing off now. She's showing off. She knows she pretty. Look. My God, when I tell you that this ham was good, good, I'm not playing with you. Girl, look, I ain't got time to play with y'all. Look, look at the juiciness. I made me some mac and cheese, some collard greens. Girl, I made some black eyed peas to go with this ham. And some candy yams. Girl, you better get your life and check out these videos. I got a video for everything on this plate. And I guarantee you that this honey baked ham is the best ham that you've ever had. The honey baked store ham, whoever they are, they don't have nothing on Lisa D. Period, pool. But anyway, if you're feeling my vibe, please subscribe. Do me right by hitting like. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of this yumminess. And please share if you care. I thank you so much in advance. Remember, if you cook from your heart with love, you can't go wrong. Have a delicious and delightful day. Bye.